Okay, I know I'm standing on land, but you know, sometimes you have that feeling of um, motion sickness. Yes, this is not a spring chicken today. We're talking about motion sickness. Sometimes you've heard of it as car sickness, mal de mer. sickness, or what? Mal de mer. Oh, mal de mer is. <laughs> that's, that's, the same that's, thing. Sea, that's sea sickness <laughs> same in thing. French. So, first of all, what is it, and then how can you prevent it, and what can you do about it? So, it's a state of mind, folks. Yeah, it's just a state of mind. How do you figure that? Because, uh, okay, I, I know because I've been on the water a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I would, you know, I'm hoping that it's all a state of mind because last time my family went on a cruise, all of us were seasick. Yeah, so yeah. this time we're hoping that. It won't be quite as rocky. It won't be some more things to You're prevent. just going to go into the North, the North Pacific, into the Bering Sea is all. Is, it, is that gla like glass or is that rocky? It, it, it's, it's sort of, you know, it's known for its really bad weather. Oh, no. You know, go, go watch, uh, you know, the Discovery oh, Channel. the North Bering Strait. Yeah, we're but, you know, they, 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 you know it's, it's some of the glaciers. worst water in the world. Ooh. So we found 10 tips. This is from medicine.net. Of course, with... Some extra comments by us. Oh, actually, we have actually eleven tips. The eleventh is the most important of all. Yeah, it is the it is the ultimate way of handling motion sickness. But we'll get to that one at the end, of course. Okay, first of all, like you can't prevent all of them, but you know you can try and deal with them. Um, first of all, watch your consumption of foods, drinks, and alcohol before and during travel. Well, basically, don't go out on deck after you've ate or drank a lot. Because basically you, you, you do a lot of rail hanging. And what is rail hanging? That's when you're going to lose everything in the stomach and you can't get back to the toilet. Oh, and here's one that's not on it, which is when you are eating, don't sit there and stare out at the ocean where the water is going like this. Don't eat greasy foods. And don't eat, what was it, non-caffeinated tea? Yeah. And milk? Don't don't eat caffeinated tea. Oh. Don't drink caffeinated tea. <laughs> okay. To stick to the herbal non-caffeinated. And uh, milk is not good if you have a queasy stomach. It will curl on you and you'll do real hanging. Oh, and that's when you go for the bread and the crackers and all of that stuff. Yep. But it says avoid excessive alcohol and foods that you know upset your stomach. So heavy, spicy, rich foods may worsen motion sickness. Lots of chili. Ooh. <laughs> Avoid strong food orders. <laughs> food orders. Yeah. Avoid strong food or orders. <laughs> May help prevent nauseousness. Yeah. Try to choose a seat where you will experience the least motion. In the middle of choppy seas, doesn't make any difference. But okay, modern <laughs> ships have stabilizers, which meant the ship shouldn't rock and roll. Well, yeah, but you know, sometimes if you're in the car, well, I guess that one probably doesn't make a difference. Oh, and a you're, you're talking airplane, motion sickness in a car now. Well, we're talking about all motion sickness. I know, I know, but you know, basically just close your eyes and you, you okay. Motion Go to sickness sleep. is Go a state to sleep. of mind. If you're asleep, you don't notice it's there. If you close Actually, your that's eyes. That's because they don't mention that one, is go to sleep. Yeah. Oh, that's ways to prevent it. Yeah, if you're sleeping through it. Um. <laughs> yeah, but you want if you're on a cruise line, or if you actually if you're going through the Grand Canyon, you want to see the Grand Canyon. If you're on a cruise, you want to see what's around you. I know, even if you're sick or not. Do not sit facing backwards from your direction of travel. That's always a dumb thing, no matter what. I can see that. Sit in the front seat of a car. Uh, uh, yeah. Or it, better yet, drive. Okay. If you're driving, you're less likely. You never see people on airplanes with the seats reversed. They all face forward. No, but there's that one section where they face each other. I know, but that's ready? that's the uh, people that are actually, you know, they pay, you know, that's the that's the crew and people that actually pay for those seats. Uh, sometimes they You pay one. premium to be able to set the wrong direction on a plane. I know. So, <laughs> let's see. Do not read while traveling if you're prone to motion sickness. Um, that one I don't understand. I do because I get it. With, because like even when we're driving somewhere, if I'm reading or even if I'm working on the computer, I can only do it for a little bit of time. <laughs> and I can work and for I hours. Start getting a little sick. <laughs> yeah. So I do understand that. Um, so don't do that when traveling by car or boat. It can sometimes help to keep your gaze fixed on the horizon or on a fixed point. Not if it's going Not up if and it's down. Not up and down. See, that one I doesn't think, work either. See, a lot of it is 
avoid looking so you don't see the going up and down. That's right. Because if you see the going up and down, well, you know, maybe really maybe what sick. they're talking about is like in a speech class, they tell you to fix your eyes on one point and keep it there. Oh, you know, like the ballerina when you, you sit and you do your turns and your spins. That's right. They're just say they're they're eye, they're focused on one point and one point only, so therefore they don't know anything else and is happening. They could have to be doing do a narrow vision. So That's you don't tunnel even vision. Yeah. You do the tunnel vision bit so you don't notice the other part. Let's see, open a vent or source of fresh air if possible. A fan would probably help. You could bring a little fan with you. Yeah. Uh, no mind. A little portable one. Well, I'll tell you how well these end up working. Isolate yourself. Now this, of course, I was interested. Stay away from people that are sick. Well, yeah, because the odors, okay, the odors that they're giving off and the very fact that you can see them um, yeah, rail hugging, going, that, 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 that will make you spit. It's, a, it's why parents with children, you know, babies tend to get sick when the little kid does a lot of throwing up or pooping in their pants. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so you can guess how much fun I had with all of us sick. Yep. So we'll have fun with this one. So there is over-the-counter medication that most of you guys have heard. Let's see, there's Dramamine, Bonine. Oh, they have Bonine in here. Antibert, which I've never heard of. Yeah. Your doctor may also prescribe something. They also have those those wrist thingies. Yeah. They can uh, you can get patches. And patches. And on board a ship, I, if you like you're on board a ship, I think they can give you a shot for it too. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. But they all do have different parameters because sometimes you might have to take them before you get sick. Yeah, mostly it's before you get sick. <laughs> Not a, because if, if you, you know, do it after you're sick, then you're basically going to lose it. Oh, so the only way to lose it, not lose as much, is don't is, eat as much. That's right. Which actually is always the tricky part when you're on a cruise. Oh, maybe I'll keep this one. Yeah. Is when you're on a cruise, I know, everybody always wants to eat a lot, don't they? <laughs> yeah. So, oh, and of course, the last way to prevent motion sickness. Oh, it's, just the, it's the ultimate way. I mean, I have, I, I know, I, I've preached this for years. The, the number one method of avoiding motion sickness is... Don't put yourself in a situation where you can get motion sickness. Oh! <laughs> Isn't that the most amazing? That, it it costs you. That is the most cost efficient of the bunches. Just don't put yourself in that situation. But if you might happen to be in that situation, well, because you can't help it. Well, I know. I guess you can bring okay. a bag with okay. you. Okay. Here, here's a tip. Make sure it's plastic lined. Uh, okay. <laughs> a, a, a very good tip. Is that it? Really, is a lot of it is mental. What you can, I, I, you, what you don't see can't hurt you. If you close your eyes, you just sit down. It basically doesn't make any difference how much things are swaying. You're not seeing it. It's the seeing it and the smelling it that causes a reaction in the head. I mean, you can also just uh, have you, okay. You ever seen okay on board ships, people wearing nose clips? You know, like no. they would wear if they were swimmers. I that's when you're swimming. No, but they'll help? put them on board there because they can't smell. If they can't smell and they close their eyes, all they can do is feel movement. And without two, with two of your senses shut off, it, you it, know, I'll remember that one because I hadn't thought about closing my nose. Yeah. So I may look like what was it in that movie with Kevin Costner? When Renee Rousseau shows up for her, her golf lesson, yeah. and she's got all tin these, cup. <laughs> tin cup with all these contraptions attached yeah. to her for the lesson. So. A, a swimmer's nose clip and, um, and maybe even really dark colored glasses. If you have to be out, dark colored glasses and a nose clip. Okay, so I'm going to be trying all those things. And I'm going to be getting my family to try it. And I'll let you know what really, really works. But for now... This is not a spring chick on motion sickness.